Hi. Now, I had a breakdown on uh, some Foscam cameras that were interesting enough that I thought for once I'd make my own video and show you how I can track down an error that's really annoying because it doesn't show up very well. Now I have a security system made up of eight Foscam weatherproof indoor-outdoor cameras. They're wireless or they can be wired. There's the uh, LAN connection there. And it connects to a 5 volt power supply through a little pin. Now, I had this camera go dead. Nothing touched it, didn't act up before that. It was just dead. So you would assume, mm, gee, the camera's dead, I gotta replace it. But of course, I checked out a few things. I checked out the LAN cable, it was fine. I checked out the camera by putting in a different power supply. It's just a power brick with a pin at the end. Nothing uh, unusual about it. Now at this point, there's no lights on the LAN connection because there's no hardwire in it yet. It's on a wireless mode, so there's no lights on this. But you can hear the infrared shutter kick back. And when I plug this in, you probably can't hear it on a camera, but I can hear the click. So you assume, well, the camera's acting fine, or at least part of it's functioning. So, what's going on? Well, the smartest thing to do is check all your cables. I've used a different LAN connection. Plug it in. Power supply is on. Now, since it's hardwired, there should be some activity lights going right now. Nothing. Crap. You think the camera's dead. Now, make absolutely sure. I have a, pair, a spare power supply. Plug it in. Land connection. Nothing. No lights. No activity. No lights on the network switch, nothing. So you think, oh, well, maybe the shutter's working, but the camera's dead. And we'll also do this. We'll test the output of the power supplies. Make sure they're putting out five volts. Okay, here's one. We got 5.11 over five volts, that's plenty. The other one, 5.19. That's well over 5. They should be fine. But the trick is, they're not. Now, a power supply can fail in one of two ways. It can just go dead or can fail under load. And that means that you can test it with a voltmeter and everything seems to be fine. It has proper output voltage. But when you plug it into the device it's trying to operate, the voltage will go below the threshold of the device and the thing never works. And it drives you crazy. You'll think the device is broken, but it's not. Now with me, the easiest thing I could do, and the smartest, was since I have multiple cameras, pull one off a camera that's operating right now, and plug it in and make absolutely sure. Now we'll test the output of the one that we know is good. And G. Having a little trouble reaching at 5.19. Exactly the same as one of the others, and right in line with what it's supposed to be. But two of those that put out that same number are dead, and one of them isn't.
activity lights. This camera's fine. It was the power supply. And yeah, I had two bad ones, believe it or not. That's the way it can fool you. But it's a whole lot cheaper. That power supply, I just went online and bought it on Amazon, nine bucks. It'll be here tomorrow. It's a whole lot cheaper than replacing a hundred dollar camera. Now I just wanted to show you don't have to be an engineer, some electronics genius. You just have to show a little common sense trying to make sure to eliminate things for absolutely sure works, doesn't work, and you can find the answer you're looking for. And sometimes if you're lucky like today, it'd be a whole lot cheaper than you thought it could be. Catch you next time.